Welcome to the homestead. Well, we're up here midweek and uh, we've got stormy weather, a lot of stormy weather coming. And uh, we just got done clearing trees over where my car parked, but we took my car to the city and it's a good thing because there's limbs down there again from that tree above. So we're gonna have to worry about that tree above and get it down. But uh, that's not what we're here to do today. So stick with us and see what we're gonna do today. Okay, I'm out in the garden and uh, gosh, it's just rained so much that everything is drench soaked. Guy at Lee's work told him that um, this is the fourth rainiest season on record. Well, that's good to know. It means that the rest of the time, it's not gonna be this wet, but everything is soaking wet and deep. Not only is it super wet inside the garden tunnel, but when I stepped, I have that garden cloth overlapping. Well, it popped open and mud squished through. It's disgusting. I gotta get some cardboard and lay it down so I'm not walking in that mud. It's just saturated. Everywhere is saturated. Places I didn't know uh, retained water has retained water. So, um, this is really, really wet land. We're gonna have to see how we can fix it over time. But today, what I'm doing is, is that I've got this wheelbarrow and the grow cloths and I was gonna go out to that pile and go get me some dirt from that pile. And I thought I'd put directly in the grow bags. But I also have these grow bags over here, the big ones that I got from the property. And so I think I'm gonna shovel some of the dirt out of it too and put it inside these uh, grow, grow, um, grow bags. And, um, and I'm gonna set the grow bags out. And um, I think I'm gonna drop some cucumber seeds in them so we can have some cucumbers growing outside here and uh, see if we can get them to go up. But I think I need a pallet to put the grow bags on the pallet so we don't um, um, have to worry about weeding around the grow bags. And so um, I think that's my plan. First things first, I'm gonna go get me a pallet, but I've gotta put some gloves on. The only thing I have out here is garden gloves. That's a, that'll work fine and uh, I'll go get me a pallet. What Lee's doing is he's gonna cut up that cardboard, lay it flat to put over that mud that's in that garden tunnel because you can't even walk into the door without sinking in the mud. I need some dirt now to go inside those grow bags. I got some dirt over here in those other big gigantic grow bags that we don't like. And then I got some over there. And so I'm just gonna quickly fill the bags. I'm thinking, and I could be wrong on this thought, 
but I think I should fill the wheelbarrow up from here and then take it over to the grow bags and fill it up there. I was going to take the grow bags over there and fill it up directly, but that means I have to carry the grow bags and I don't want to do that. Okay, well Brenda found a great big giant worm. I don't know if it's an earthworm or what it is, but it's big. It's trying to go away. we've decided to go get some of that soil that we've been making over the last year in that uh, uh, mulch pit and uh, add it because we think this might have a lot of clay in it.
Okay, I planted four different kinds of cucumbers, four in each bucket. We're going to trellis them up. I think that will be good. And if one of them dies, no big deal. We'll still have others. And uh, I did the variety so we can have pickling, we can have straight, we can have Armenian, and then there's another one. So that should be really cool. That's it for today. When we get back, and I'm not sure if we're going to get to come again this week, but we are leaving for a vacation, and we're going to be gone for like seven days from the vacation. And so we may not be here for 10, 10, 12 days. And so hopefully these things will just grow. And we'll come back, and they'll still be alive, especially the ones in the growth tower, since uh, they're not doing so good to start with. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless y'all. Be sure to like, share, press the notification bell, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on The Homestead. Bye-bye now.